Hey everyone, it's Sam here. And first of all, I want to start off this video with a sorry, <laughs> a really big sorry, because so many of you have been messaging me saying, Sam, when are you going to post the card that you promised you would share the week after you showed us using it with dyes? And it is this card here. So I shared this one maybe two months ago. I feel really, really bad, honestly. And the fact that I promised on a video as well just is really bad of me. So please accept this apology and I hope I'm forgiven. But I made this card and it was using the new dies from my Never Ending collection or Never Ending card collection. And I said, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can also achieve this exact card without dies. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So if you've missed this video and you just, you know, would like to watch this one, then I will pin it. And basically you have this, I'm trying to hold it up as it would be displayed. So it's kind of this, it's a very, very cool looking card. And it's just using four of those never ending kind of panels. So it's with the dies, it's really quick and easy to do. But like I said, I'm going to show you it without today. And then you've got all your space on the back to write your message. And then it just folds down and goes in your envelope. Really, really easy. It can be any theme you want. You've got all these lovely panels on it. Obviously, I've used the products as well, which were part of that launch. This is, these are all the paper crafting products that I used, which are super fun and the papers and everything. But today I'm going to use a brand new collection that has just launched on Craft Stash, which I think works perfectly with this one as well. So, like I said, hope I'm forgiven. But now let me show you how to make it without the dies. So to decorate today's card, I've decided to use this new On The Farm Shaun The Sheep collection. It's very, very cute and it works brilliantly with this card design, actually. You've got your ephemera, six by six paper pad, two stamp and die sets, which is what I'm using today, along with one of the papers. You get your um, ribbons. These are just uh, strips of different card patterns. And then you've got your ephemera sheets here as well with lots of fun designs. It's all available over on the Craft Stash website. Here I have my four never ending cards. All right. Now to make one of them, you want to cut yourself a piece of five by seven because you can just have this card on its own working as a never ending card. So a piece of five by seven and along the seven inch side, you're going to score at one and three quarters and at five and a quarter and then rotate and you're going to score at one and a quarter down to that score line and then at three and three quarters down to that score line Then rotate all the way around and score again at one and a quarter down to the first score line and three and three quarters down to that first score line then you want to go to your middle point which is two and a half you want to miss this first section and then start scoring from that score line down to the next score line. So you're just scoring at two and a half, just in between those two score lines that you previously made. If you want to lay a ruler down there, you can, but I just kind of roughly just hover my stylus until I get to that score line and then start scoring. Okay, next we want to do a tiny bit of cutting. Here's your trimmer if you prefer. I'll show you on this one here. So where you've just scored at two and a half, just in between those two score lines, we're actually going to cut across here down that score line and then across here so we're freeing up this middle part to allow all of those folds to fold okay so if you just use this as a visual of what we're going to do so again with this orientation you're cutting between these two here so this score line so it's your one and a quarter and three and three quarter you're cutting in between those two then in between these two and then again down here the same so I'm going to cut these two first of all. And you always want to push into your Messel ruler and that way you know you'll get a nice straight line. And then I'm going to cut down that middle score line. Okay, and now you'll be able to fold these score lines here and fold it over. Don't fold these ones, you don't actually need to. You'll just really use them as a guideline. What I also did do is just with my trimmer, just fold it out. And if you've got any score line visible, you can use your scissors if you want. But I just took off just that tiny little bit. I'm going to see it more on that side. And just straighten it up as well. There we go, that's better. So just repeat that on the other three pieces. Again, just fold those all out like so. You're going to take two 
and you're going to stick them over the top. This is going to form the centre of the card. And if you want, this can be a card on its own with just these two. See there, you get a really cool profile and that will all fold down flat. You can also fold it flat kind of like this as well. There's a few ways that you can fold it down. I've got lots of envelopes on the channel already, DIY envelopes, bigger box envelopes that some of these will fit in. So I'll share all those in a playlist towards the end. So I'm just going to run my glue all the way down here. Doesn't matter which one you stick over, left over the right, right over the left. Just place that down. And just make sure that everything lines up. Make sure the base is nice and straight. Now I've cut myself these two pieces here, which are going to sit perfectly over the top. And these are three and three quarters by three and a half. Like so. so it just covers up all those joins. And then I've got another one for the back and that'll be where I write my message. So I'm going to stick those on next. Okay, so that's all in place. And now we're going to take these ones here and you're going to stick them together like so. So I just lay it down this way. So you've got, so it looks like this. You're going to lift it up and lift up this side and stick them together. So it's sticking up, but then it will end up folding that way. So on this piece, you're going to run your glue all the way down here and also in this area here. Okay, so just bring them up like so and then fold it out that way. Again, you can trim round, you might find you want to trim the edges a little bit again. I'll start standing it up now so I can make sure you don't want it rocking when it's open. And that one will push back out that way. And then again on this side, from the glue all the way down. And then all into that part. And then again, stick those together. Okay, so just give that some time to dry. Okay, so I went ahead and stuck all the mats and theirs down because it's dead easy to do. All I'm going to do now is give you the measurements for them. So I'll just show you. It's the paper pad or paper design here from the pack. Some really nice ones there. You've got all the sheet there. You've got Sean's head. This one's cool, which is the stamp image there. These are all the characters. And you've got the tractor tyres there. So really, really fun. And then these are, like I said, the two stamp sets. So I've used this wonderful one here from... This is the fun times, pig out, it's your birthday. And then I thought this one fits perfectly within the mat layer there. So we've got the three of them there, pigaboo. And then I've just filled the other ones with Sean. So I love that one. The one eating the cookie. And then this one here. And I've just added the little extra sentiment, sending love to you. And then, yeah, the pigaboo and pig out, it's your birthday. So if you want to decorate yours just like I have, then you'll want to cut yourself eight pieces of two and a quarter by one and a half, then eight pieces of two by one and a quarter. So that's for these sections. Then you'll want two pieces of one by one and a half. For the middle, you'll want a piece of three and a quarter by three and a half, and then a piece of three by three and a quarter. And then you'll want four pieces of three and a quarter by two and a quarter and then four pieces of three by two. You can also decorate the other sides if you want, but you can see now I think what I might do is just cut it's either a little bit there. If you find it catching, you just have to trim a little bit off of there or a little bit off of this piece. I'm probably going to do that one there. If I hold it up like so, that is how it's displayed. So you get to see all of those panels and then to fold it flat, folds down like so. Now you can cut the corners off of here. So if I bring back in this one, see I've cut the corners off and just added a little mat layer. You can see I've done those ones as well, but it's up to you. I'm gonna leave them for this one. If I just bring it back round again, it's these ones here. So you can cut them on an angle if you want to, but I think I'm gonna leave them 
yeah i'm going to leave them for this one what i would also recommend you do is just burnish when you folded them all back just give these folds a really good burnish just to really soften up the fibers there and it just make it just help it always fold back into that position i'll just bring both the cards back in there so like i said i am very very sorry for the delay on getting this video filmed and uploaded um i'm never going to promise anything again on the channel because i just have so much going on there's so many paper crafts and launches and just lives that i do and i just yeah i think i just promised too much that week so again back on track now all is forgiven i hope and i hope you like this version using no dice if you're on facebook head over to my wonderful group mixed up crafters and you can share anything there that you've made following my tutorials it's a wonderful group we've got a lot of people there now all of the products are available over on the craft stash website so you can find that by clicking here or i'll have them individually listed in the description box below the video make sure you're subscribed by clicking here and that way you won't miss out on future videos and i will have a playlist here of just fun fold cards that you don't need any dice to make you might want to watch that one next take care and i'll see you soon bye